Hi YouTube. I just want to introduce to you my breakthrough in design. After I had my fin cell going, I redesigned my very first spoon cell, the first one I ever made. Usually in this configuration they would use about 10-15 amps depending on the concentration of the electrolyte but I made design changes and you can see it and you can learn from it if you look at my windows I'm not telling you but you see the outcome that's the so this outcome for this amount of gas produced would be about 10 to 15 amps but then I had this breakthrough uh, it's not the catalyst adder in it what I put in you see this what I do down there that's can you see that That's not it, the breakthrough looked up a little coil because I have an uncleaned DC from this generator. I get maybe, do you think that's an amp? Maybe, I don't know, it's very little. And then go back. And look at the mushroom cloud. Hmm. So, definitely something. You see the black stuff is the catalyst saddle, and the brown stuff is leaching iron from the spoons. I think. They call them stainless. I uh, got them from Walmart, but they are not. There's some stuff. Outside, I have minus, and uh, inside is plus. If you look down, the production, the most production comes from the minus, which is the hydrogen part. That's what I want hydrogen. Oxygen is in the air and the outside again negative going to this coil down to the negative terminal into this uh, machine then the positive comes goes to a transformer goes directly to this wire into this little coil here and that's all, no electronics, no magnets, nothing. Just DC, unclean DC, enforced by a coil. And that's it.